You know, someone could be recording your every move when you're taping, or I'm sorry, when you're tapping away at your PC. Ray Weigel has been inva investigating. Investigating. God, <laughs> way out there today. <laughs> He's been actually looking at an insidious breed of spyware, something called keystroke loggers, which uh, can actually destroy your privacy, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah, and how. I'm going to show you. Uh, <clears throat> okay, first of all, notice, please, the tie. Now, I, we've been yeah. pimping this all over the network. This is the spy tie from Bolide International. This uh, is, there's a little camera, little camera lens right here. I currently have it running through the floor. And uh, you can see on the back screen here, uh, there's Chris. Now, this is the image that's being taken from my tie. And I'm, I brought this out for a couple reasons. First of all, because it's cool and this is, you know, a nice little thing. It's a cool thing to see. Also, because this is a physical metaphor. This is what I came up with is a physical metaphor for key loggers. Now, if I just wear this around, you're not going to know that uh, I'm recording you. You know, it just looks yeah, like a tie. Yeah, you know, you know. really can't tell. In the same way that you're not going to know that somebody's logging your keystrokes on your computer. Uh, this keyloggers gave, gave, uh, gained a lot of hullabaloo uh, late last year with the FBI working on Magic Lantern, which is going to be their Trojan horse. So if you don't know what a Trojan horse is, uh, it's a program within a program. Uh, you download one program, and then there's a program living inside it that installs itself, and you don't know. Uh, the idea with Magic Lantern is then that it would open your computer up to the FBI so that they could find out uh, every, basically everything you're typing. Uh, it was used in a mafia case a little while before, oh, a wow. keylogger, and they got this guy's passwords. Uh, Philadelphia crime boss got his passwords uh, and then broke into his encryption, got his P uh, PGP passwords. So could you explain what a keylogger is? Yeah, let me show you, does? actually. Okay. Let me yeah. show you. I've installed in one of the call for help boxes uh, a keylogger. I'm uh -oh. going to hit a keystroke combination. I'm hitting... Control Alt Shift T. This is something I pulled up before. See, it brings up eBlaster, enter password. This is my secret password. Okay, now I've had this on here for about two hours, three hours now, this program. Um, and it brings up this little screen. Welcome to eBlaster Setup. I'm going to go right down here to Activity Report. Now, this is what the Activity re Report is what eBlaster has recorded on my computer. Okay? Wow. Now, in this, I have it set up to send all this information that you're seeing on the screen right here to an email address. I set up a Hotmail account. So it'll send this every half hour, at these activity reports, to my Hotmail account. Now, check this out. Uh, the most active applications right here. It says, I've been using Explorer for eight minutes, Internet Explorer for seven minutes. Here's under that, you see the most active websites. These are all the websites that I've been to. The Hotmail, you can see SpyCop, ScanStar, TechTV.com. Uh, I scroll down, application activity, these are all the applications I've been using. Cool. Oh, here's my uh, registration for the software, the eBlaster software that I set up. Uh, so it's recording that right now. Uh, I look down here, um, let's see, what else do we have? Here's more registration right here. How do these uh, things work? Here's my uh, Hotmail address and password. We'll just get by that really quickly. <laughs> screen, grab. screen grabs. Uh, <coughs> basically what happens, now there's three different kinds. Client-side, server-side, and hardware. Server-side, if you're at work, and we kind of talked about this beforehand, if you're at work, you pretty much just assume that you're being, you know, watched. Uh, Client-side, these would get on your computer. Let's say I leave my laptop at a bus on the bus. I put my laptop up top. I fall asleep. Some insidious individual grabs my laptop, can throw this on if it's not password protected, if I haven't taken, you know, steps to, uh, 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 you know, steps to prevent this. Sure. Uh, they can get my laptop, throw this on. They don't even have to know who I am. You know, they can just have these activity, re activity reports sent to their email address. And you said another one's a hardware? Hardware. Uh, you can, you know, there's keyboards themselves. I can't lift this up right now, but keyboards themselves will have a little microchip in it. Or there'll be, you know, somebody, uh, there's the classic, you know, uh, classic comedy caper of the repairman walking into your office, you know, man, we have a computer to fix. <laughs> and, uh, you know, getting on your computer, it's a way for them to get into your computer. Put a little microchip in there. Uh, there's a thing called the key catcher, which you can put on the back of a keyboard. Okay. It'll uh, save uh, everything you type within that little device. They can come remove it or send it out. It's kind of scary, but how could you tell if, if one of these is running in the background? Yeah, now, th there's a couple ways to tell. There's a few programs you can download. Let me show you those. I'm going to get rid of this... Uh, activity screen, get rid of this. Uh, we, I have two programs on here. One is anti-keylogger, okay? And what I brought up here, I did a scan on anti-keylogger. This is what the main screen looks like. You just hit scan. It takes about half an hour, so I did it kind of like about 45 minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry, let me bring that back up. Now, this uh, went through and scanned all the files. Now, what you're seeing here, uh, this is when it's saying, you know, it's seen all these programs by uh, 
Win Vestigator by Tropical Software. We looked that up. That is a scanning software program, but what you're seeing is it's bringing up all these dynamic link libraries. Those would be shared files that, it's th that it thinks this Win Vestigator has, but this is actually a really clean build of the system that we just did, so we know that's not on there, okay? Now, I want to show you, uh, let's see if we can bring it up. This is SpyCop now. This is another one. So WinVestigator kind of gave us some misleading information, and this is one of the faults of this, uh, that will look at DLL, dynamic link libraries, which are shared folders, and think that you have spy software, key logging software on there when you actually don't. This is SpyCop. We ran this, and now you can see the Spectre, the, the, the uh, uh, program that I put on there was eBlaster, so this ebsetup.exe by ah. Spectre soft software. So it actually went through and found that there was a keylogger on this machine. So how can we protect ourselves from uh, being spied on? You know, yeah, uh, there's common sense uh, things you can do. Password protects your computer and don't give your password out. And you were talking about earlier how you'll have different passwords on the web and, you know, you'll use different passwords for each uh, login, you know. You won't use the same password again and again. Also, if you use passwords, make it a combination of numbers and letters, you know, and symbols. Don't just make it like dad or Santa or, you know, Claus or whatever you want to do. Yeah. Uh, make it like, you know, Chris356 Perillo74. That way, if somebody has a, uh, a definition or a, a dictionary program, they can just search every word in the dictionary. A dictionary you know? program? A program that a hacker might use. They would go in and, you know, for your password, just run through and search all the words in the dictionary. So if you have, uh, are using a regular word, they can find that out. But if you use something like, uh, you know, Perillo35, yeah. first of all, Perillo is the proper name, but, you know, that number will throw it off so the program won't be able to read it. Very cool. Ray, uh, thank you. You bet, man. Don't Great share your passwords. And anti-keylogger programs, SpyCop and uh, anti-keylogger are really good. Yeah, so it seems. I'm yes. going to have to run them as soon as I get home. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sweep your computer. There's a trial version of SpyCop.com available, which you can download for free. It skips random files, but it's better than nothing, you know, and it gives you a little start into uh, keeping, your keeping your computer clean. For sure. And you can find out how to detect and protect yourself from keystroke loggers at our website, techtv.com slash call for help. All the links are there. After the break, some luck.